Hi y'all, what's a thin parting tool? Is it a sixteenth of an inch like this? Or is it more of an eighth of an inch like, like this? Well those are both thin parting tools, but sometimes you need something a little different. You need a flush cut saw because parting off at high speed on some objects can be very dangerous as I'll show you in this little little clip uh, of me getting ready to part off an urn. Unfortunately I had a problem with a cord button so I didn't get uh, get a picture of sawing it off. But here's two different uh, saws that are perfect for uh, parting off small items or large items that you don't feel like you can safely part off while it's still still turning. This is a Japanese flush cut saw uh, made in Japan. It's got uh, 18 teeth per inch. It's very, very flexible. This is a very similar saw made by Irwin. Uh, you can get this you can get this at uh, at uh, Lowe's, but you can also get it on my Amazon shop. You can get either one of these on my Amazon shop. Uh, and of course, if you buy something on my Amazon shop, I get a small commission. It helps support my channel. Uh, the Irwin has got a 22 teeth per inch. The Japanese got about 18. The Irwin is just a hair thinner, but they're both thin, very sharp, and both very flexible. And I used the Irwin for parting off where I lost the footage as I was parting off this as I was parting off this 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 urn, uh, obviously on something this big, uh, you can't part it off without have a risk of this thing go go flying. So parting off the flush cut saw is the ideal ideal way to do it, and it won't take much to to sand sand that bottom off. One little trick, a little hard to show. Uh, without this having being supported here since I'm having to hold it with my hands but if you'll take a little card plastic uh, uh, a real thin card could be a credit card cut a hole in it cut a slot put this over the uh, little bit of tenon you're gonna cut so when you cut it it'll rub against this and not against your bottom and that's especially helpful when you're doing cuts uh, against a finished finished surface so maybe here's a better example here's a small item that You get it all the way down to maybe, as I said for maybe a quarter of an inch. Now this is something that I'd feel comfortable about taking off with a thin parting tool, but I'm just using it as an example. I would not cut it off with the lathe running. Do it manually. Go ahead and get your tailstock support out of the way, because I tell you, inevitably you're going to wind up chopping it off. And you just, again, this does it on a pull stroke. And just a few quick strokes and you're you're done. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.